Hi friends, welcome to another video for the Wild Bunch, the YouTube design team for Wild Orchid Crafts. And today's video is going to be my project for the um, Wild Bunch monthly challenge, which was um, to make a recipe box. And I'm really excited to show you guys the one that I made. So my box is actually an altered watch case, and here it is. And it's come out so, so stunning, and I'm really, really proud of myself, and I love it. So, um... As you can see, the colours are primarily creams, blacks and whites and um, I've used the paper collection by Prima which is a printery and I know it's a fairly old line but I love it and I just thought I had to use it in this recipe box. And um, this box is actually going to be used to um, put in recipes that are like old family favourites and Hubby's going to put some of his because he just freestyles in the kitchen and um, I've just told him you know he needs to jot down what he uses and what he makes so this will be perfect for both of us so I've not put any pinks in because I didn't want it to be just me Um, I want both of us to use it so here it is and I'll go through all the flowers and everything in a minute and I'll just explain what what this actual box is so it's actually um a metal kind of like a really hard metal um, watch case which I've had lying around for a while and I don't put my watch in it so I thought I'd just why not alter it for this um, recipe box so it's not very big as you can see it's actually only um, say about four and a half inches long and about three and a half inches um, wide but it is pretty deep and um, I'll show you the inside as well and I've made my own little recipe cards so uh, for the flowers um, I kept it all in like similar kind of um, colours as the background papers so I've used this beautiful cream colour trellis rose here, a few of these jet black roses here and some of the tiny cream coloured um, roses which actually they're not cream they're taupe roses and 20mm ones and I will put the codes down below so you can check those out and what I did with all my flowers I just got um, a silver ink pad actually let me just get I think I've got it right here just give me a minute so I've used a brilliant ink pad and I do use a lot of these because I love the shape and they are quite small so I've used this silver ink pad and I've just dabbed it all over the flowers and um, because as you can see the closure there is silver and you can see bits of silver on the edges which I didn't want to cover up because it looks really nice so um, to enhance that I just dabbed it with the silver ink pad and in between some of the flowers I've added some of these um, silver little pearl balls which were in my stash and I've also taken some black fabric leaves here and these white ones are from Wild Dogger Crafts and um, they come like this so what I did with those um, they're actually white and I've just brushed over them with the silver ink pad then just slightly gone over with the black so it just highlights all the little um like the veins of the leaves so um that is my flower arrangement and behind the flowers in each of the corner i've put the filigree corners again the code will be below and these are the larger ones and i've just left them silver because i like the contrast and i've also added this prima um satan crystal lace here again available at wild Docker crafts and i've just cut out another piece of the um same paper here and i've just um matted in layers and black cardstock and wrote recipe box in a silver pen so that looks really good and for the um, side of the box here as you can see I've just layered some black lace and some black pleated lace and then gone round all of it with this um, ivory flat back pearl from Wild Ocker Crafts and also on the top here I've put this wide um, trim here and then gone over the whole all the way around in this beautiful um, rose trimming here again from Wild Ocker Crafts and this is the cream coloured one and on the base I've just taken some black card and laid on some of the design paper from Prima and I just distressed the edges using some um, Tim Holtz black ink I think it's the black soot that I used so that's that bit and then on the inside so there's my closure and I just left it the way it was and it's very um, chic looking and on the inside you open it I put some design paper on the back here covered this bit with some um, black fabric and it's not very clear I'm sorry just turn it to give you a better shot so there you go 
that looks really good and I love um, this paper and it had a spoon so I just put it in there cut it down to size and inside I've cut um, some cardstock just to fit in and I've made my own little cards so I've got starters and then some cards here then I've got mains then I've got um, this one says Asian and I've got vegetarian with some green card and desserts at the back so that looks really good and hopefully we're going to be using it and um, storing some of our favourite recipe ideas in there so that is my beautiful little recipe box for this month's challenge I hope you guys like it and definitely let me know what you think and as always all the um, codes and the website link as well as the Facebook link will be down below so definitely go and look at them and try and give something a go with Wild Orchid Craft Flowers so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon with another project bye